Hello my vlog gamers, Munchkady here. Well today, I'm doing another reaction video today. And well, whenever it comes to today's reaction, well, <laughs> I'm reacting to something, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of funny related. And well, and well, but, and well, if I were to give you the theme of what I'm reacting to today, it is, it is basically this. Uh, MLP presentation. Which is, yeah, this is the uh, MLP presentation video, in fact, in fact, if you want me to react to more of these, just tell me in the comments below, pony, presentation, sure, right. something like that, yeah, yeah, just tell me pony, and then on, and then on, I'll react to more presentation videos, oh, wait, oh no, my, ah, Really shouldn't be bouncing some more mattress. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Close enough. But hmm. 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 When, <clears throat> when on, uh, let me scoot up a little bit more. There we go. One. 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 When, when, when I know any, let's begin, shall we? When I, so today I will, uh, so today I will be acting to uh, My Little Pony School Project, How to Be a Brony, by Luminous Brony. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, and, uh, and that's funny. Let's begin, shall we? Let's see, any second now. Should be here. Without further ado, let's get in this reaction in three, two, one, and play. Sure, we're going to start now. Right, this is my presentation of a demonstration as well. Okay, and I've been trying very hard to keep all of you in the dark about that, and you'll see in a second. Alright, I'll give you a few clues quick. What is it? Well, it's a very awesome show. It's very colorful. It's been around since the 1990s. It has some good lessons at the end of it. I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm talking about Power Rangers. Power Rangers. I'm going to show you how to be a what? Power Ranger today. No, not really. I'm joking. Oh, okay. You should know me better than that. No, I'm actually talking about My Little Pony. Yay, My Little Pony. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking right now. Yeah, what Spike says. But yeah. really, it's not as bad a show as some of you would probably make it out to be right away. Very true. And I'm sure a lot of you, because I did this too, I'm sure a lot of you are probably carrying hate from the last seasons because you didn't like those, and honestly, I did not either. So, there have been four series, or generations as what some people would call it. Yep. The first one was kind of adventurous with dragons and orcs. It really was not that great. The second one was a high school drama of girls getting boyfriends, and enough said. The third one, I don't even know. I just know well, it's sort of a combination of the last two. Wait on, let me pause right there for a sec. What? When, 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 when I know, when, when I know, he's never seen the third generation, but I have. I saw a brony jack to it, and well, let me say this one thing. Do not watch Generation 3. You will regret it, considering it is so bad. But, you know what's even worse? Don't watch Generation 3.5. And whatever you do, do not watch uh, Little Cuties. Don't watch it. It's the worst episode you will ever see of all time. Trust me, if you watch Little Cuties, you're going to need eye bleach. Yeah, and you're going to need plenty of bleach because it is very cringy. Yeah. Uh, and I... Uh, and, and uh, yeah, no, and hey, let's continue on, shall we? Two, and it didn't work out so great. The version 3.5 was when they were little babies, and that didn't work out so great. Now, Generation 4 is what I'm talking about. Why is this one different? Well, it had good animations. 
The problems of the stories were very unique and very awesome. Each character had its very own unique uh, quali qualities and problems that they had to yeah. face. The lessons at the end were very good and very life uh, yeah, important. Yeah, they were important. And soon the, the population of this series grew. Yep, it grew. Oh, shoot. With all its bronies. All right, so what is a brony? A brony is a word that was created by the fans of a combination of the words bro and pro pony equaling brony. This is normally given to them to men and teens who like the show. Their ages their ages range from about 16 to 40, or sometimes even older. Some girls who are fans of the show also like to be called bronies, but some of them prefer Pegasus, which is Pegasus and sister. Now, how can I? How can you become yeah. one too? Well, I did some research, and there's about three different types. Mm. There's a minimal requirement where you just watch the first season and you pick a favorite pony mm. of the six. Well, I, I believe there's, like uh, there's an a old standard video, brony, which they back. watch season two as well. They sometimes collect some of the action figures. Uh, you have to tell your friends about it, and of course you have to collect wear shirts about it too. This isn't a good example. No, it's not. Mine's too small. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I like a brain, baby. And of course you also have to collect the action figures. These are not mine. These are my sister's. This one's mine. <laughs> and more advanced pony is someone who watches the season three as well. No, not you. Someone who watches season three as well as a few other things. Oh, come on, stop going back. <laughs> now, what is your adva an advanced brony? Well, there's, three, there's about three different main types that I've seen. One, they can create music of their own creativity from based on their love for the show. There's fan art, of course, and they make their own videos also, as well. Uh, now, the music no, department is say it. These guys watch if the show, they can be inspired not go by characters or just something they found it, and they decide to make a song from it. Some examples are Discord and 20% Cooler. The art department. These guys are inspired by the creativity and the animation of the series and put and make their own versions, like the one on the bottom. Or some people who like the series and want to make a combination of it, such as the Avengers picture up there. Now, the film department. These guys are the most talented of the three, I believe. Oh, yeah, Snow they go out and they make their own custom uh, and stories and animations of the series. And, yeah, and they're really good. Like the top one, Snowdrop. That's about 15 minutes that. on YouTube. It's a very emotional story created by a fan. One of really the bottoms is like humans about Fluffy Puff, which is an extremely fluffy pony, no, doing some adventures. Really and it's where there's some yeah, positives, puff, puff. there are it's also cute. some negatives. And I've seen some of them, and they are questionable. Wait on. Wait on. I'm going to pause right here for a sec, and uh, let's hear. Hmm. I can't quite make up the first one, Rainbow Dash, but I... Uh, what, 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 whenever it comes to, like, with Fluttershy with a chainsaw, I can see, uh, yeah, what, 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 and uh, you'll probably can't see it with my editing, you know, but I'll try to, uh, fit it in there, but, when, 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 you know, we can probably just... Go back a few seconds and see what I'm talking about. You know, when 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 when, it, when it comes to the second one, you have Flutters and Shydale from Shed Mob by Hot Data Demon. There's your one Pinkie Pie. You have Pink Amina Die and Pie from Cupcakes, and you also have that episode. And also Twilight from the episode where she went insane, which was uh, let's see here. What was the name of the episode? Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I can't remember what it was. Wait, let's hear. Uh. Uh. Let's see. I do know it's in. I do know it's in season two. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't honestly know. Well, I'll probably put a, yeah, but I'll probably put the name across somewhere, but I'll probably put the name somewhere on the video, video telling y'all, telling y'all the name of the episode since I can't remember what it was, and, uh, yeah, now you let's continue on, shall we? At best. <laughs> now, simple bronies. Well, these guys are basically your typical fans for anything. They will just go out, wear the merchandise, watch the series, collect ponies, whatever. And these guys also do something else unique. They name characters. Oh, yeah. These guys are all characters who just sit around in the background and do nothing. Only some of the background but they, they notice some of these guys and actually take the time to give them names. Like Doctor Who, Spinal Scratch, Octavia, Derpy. The list goes on, frankly. Yeah, there's a lot of background ponies. Now, with every series, with everything on the internet nowadays, 
there's going to be trolls, and there's going to be haters. I'm sure a few of you are in here right now. Now, uh, why do they hate us? I honestly have no idea. Well, I went and I tried to do a little bit of research. Well, from what I, I came up with three main reasons. They either don't like it, because they think we're trying to enforce on their manhood, or something, I don't know. They hate it just because they don't like it, like from what they've seen from other series. And honestly, I was like that too. I mean, the other ones were terrible. Then I found this one and I thought it was quite interesting. Or, this is the most typical answer, they're just going to troll because they can. I mean, who doesn't? Now, the very interesting thing about these fans is that they create their own little way of dealing with trolls. Like, most of the time, when someone's hating on what you like, you're going to hit them back. Yep. And then they're going to hit back at you, you're going to hit back at them, whatever. But these guys, um, from their love from the show, they create something what they call to love yep, and tolerate. That's their motto, love and tolerate. Which is actually a very good way to deal with them because... A lot, and what I've found is that yep, some uh, haters and trolls the... on the internet actually have something going on with their life. And seeing yeah, this, this is actually I'm very good. Swear, this is get to them, uh, and then they'll draw out the conversation and find the out crud there's something going on in their life, and it actually works out for the best. Well, you can already see what, see what's why now, I hate, from what everything you know, I've told you so far, from what today. I can see, you've got about two options here. One, you're going to completely ignore everything I've just said, which I'm sure most of you will do. You're going to go on with your lives, you're going to do your project, you're going to go home, you're going to do whatever that isn't my little pony. Or, you're going to go my home, you're going to give you curiosity, I, I and you're going to give the show a try, a lot of my which friends. I greatly encourage, because it's actually really I turned them into bronies and bikes. Now, as Boromir says down here, and it was one great. is not simply watching my little more, pony for a few minutes. More, and I'm serious, like, I mean, when I first saw it, I was just going to watch the first episode and see how it was. I couldn't stop there. I had to watch the second one, because it's a two-parter, and I had to watch the third one. Then I had to watch the fourth. Then I have to watch season two, and then season three. Yeah, that's so, how it was. So, yeah, when he what says you, you can't watch it for a few minutes, was. he's right. You can't. And <laughs> I, I didn't. Well, I was pony shirt. So, if you watch it, just be warned that when you do, you're not going to stop. And eventually, you may become a brony, too. And the only thing I can say is, if you do become a brony, welcome to the herd. Heck yeah. And that is all. Good show, man. Good show. Still going. <laughs> Wait, no, now some of you might see why I kept you in the dark so much with this one. This is Jason. I can't go after that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't go after that. The shirt had to be the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I can't go after that. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Um, I didn't, it started recording for like 30 seconds at a time, so like it's 30 seconds. What? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, jeez. What are you talking about? I'm going to go home and watch the mic. Oh, look, look at that, man. I'm just going to keep recording. Nice. He's got an hour left. Are you still recording? No. Yeah, we're going to drink. Yeah, so we're going to drink. She already knew. Looks like that's the end of the video. And uh, when I and and uh, yeah. So now if I were to get my honest opinion on that, well, I can never say one thing. I gotta give credit to that guy who to that guy's uh. When, when I when I really gotta give I really gotta give credit to his courage. <laughs> considering, well, I'll, I probably would probably do the same thing though. Considering, considering like if I were to do a project on ponies, I would do it with pride. I'd read, I would probably not even be embarrassed. So give me just a little, but I would at least do it with pride. Considering I'm proud to be a brony, and and uh and and uh yeah. So anyway, as I say, thank you to my friends, Munch Gator. See you until next time.